All right, thank you, Tony. Now to abortion legislation at the Rhode Island State House that was expected to be voted on today. In a highly unusual move, the chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee made a move to apparently avoid the bill being rejected by the panel for a second time. Iowa this News reporter Sheena Loshuto joins us now from the State House with the latest. We saw hundreds of people at the State House. Lawmakers were set to vote on a revised version of the abortion bill, but at the last minute, it was transferred to another committee in order to stop it from being defeated. I am transferring this bill to the Committee on Health and Human Services. Senate Judiciary Chairwoman Erin Lynch Prada transfers the highly debated Reproductive Privacy Act after she says she learned Republican Senate leaders were planning to vote the bill down as ex officio members. The Senate rules let all members of leadership vote in any committee. Senator, this is my committee and I am the chair. Republican Minority Whip Elaine Morgan says she was ready to vote against the controversial legislation. We have a committee process to stop bad bills. This is a bad bill. This is not right. This is murder. Senate President Dominic Ruggiero, who is pro-life himself, approved the unusual and dramatic move. I think it's a good piece of legislation. I am not a supporter of it, uh, but I felt that it should go out to the floor uh, where more than nine people had the right to discuss this, this particular issue. Tensions remain high on all sides as the legislation heads for a third attempt at passing out of committee. Like, what are we going to do? Just keep passing this law from committee to committee to see which one it gets out of. But I shouldn't be surprised since there isn't respect for babies in, in the world. There is no way that one senator should be able to attempt to single-handedly silence not only those of her Senate colleagues, but also tens of thousands of Rhode Islanders. And we needed to roll up our sleeves and do the work and get it done and move it forward so that we can continue with the business of the rest of the state. And that's what we were trying to do. And I feel as though that's what I did today by transferring the bill. Chairwoman Erin Lynch Prada says she believes the bill will pass in the Senate Health and Human Services Committee. The bill is up for a vote this Thursday. Reporting at the State House, I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.